Hello, it's Darla at Scrap Happens here with Tuesday's Tip. I'm a little bit late today because I have kids home from school for the Thanksgiving Day holiday and I keep getting sidetracked. So I just kicked him out of my workshop and said, I gotta do this video. So I wanted to quickly share with you how I made this gingham background for this card. And I also have a couple other things that I'm gonna share with you as well. But let's get started on the gingham. So to do this, I used my diagonal stripe stamp. It's a background stamp, and here I have it all loaded. And I used a stitch circle, and I inked up inked up my background stamp, and then laid this on there. A little messy on the back. And then the stripes are going this way, so I turned it this way to make the gingham look. You can also stamp um, directly on the the circle. I just am doing it this way because I have one of those, you know, those Costco tables and it's real soft in the center. It doesn't stamp really good. And I couldn't find my wood board that I usually stamp on when I'm using this table. So there's the finished look at that. And I also wanted to show you how to decorate um, Your envelope. So I'm just doing the flap. Oh, this is messy because my fingers have ink on them. So I'm lining it up. I can't find my brayer. I usually like to use my brayer to just roll it. And then your flap is decorated. I kind of missed on the bottom here. I'll try to line those up later. But I wanted to show you that's a fu really fun thing to do on your the flap of your envelope, especially here at Christmas time. That stripe is just perfect. Now, I also wanted to show you how you can do this with a different stamp. And this is the brush stroke stamp. And I'm going to use a different color for this one because I have a project in mind, but it hasn't totally come out of my mind yet. I'm going to stamp this up in the smoky slate. Lift it up. You can see in this stamp, there's a lot of void areas. I think you can see that. So it kind of looks like it's not finished maybe all the way, but it is. Okay. So my stripes are going this way, so I want to lay it this way. I think this is a really fun way to make some fun backgrounds. And then lift it up. Totally different look with that stamp. This is super cute on my card, I think, but I also think it'll be a really cute topper for a glass, um, for a jam jar. I think that would be really cute. Or a jar full of 
chocolate kisses or something like that. So I just wanted to show you that technique and a fun way to make different backgrounds. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving, enjoying your family and your friends. My kids are all supposed to come home, so I'm super excited. I'm going to have a house full. I'll have my seven kids and a couple of girlfriends and a boyfriend and a husband <laughs> and a grandma. <laughs> so, And my husband and I, of course. So um, thanks again for stopping by. Have a great day. Happy Thanksgiving. And I'll see you next week with Tuesday's Tip.